Hey guys, Ojo Bina here, bringing you guys our NCP SummerSlam Top 16 Battle against ITZ with Tiva or Ant and his Sacramento New Kings. I love Ant to death, um, and I really think he's a really solid battle. So if you want to, go ahead and check him down in the description below. I'll link him down there, obviously. Uh, my fellow PST gang member uh, with his torn T team as well. So we got our work cut out for us, um, like I said. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel. We just hit 1K, and again, thank you guys so much. But now we're on to the next. We're pushing towards 2000. I'd love to get there by the end of the year. So if you want to help me out along that goal, I'd appreciate it then. All right, cool. We're going to go over the team really, really quick and then jump right into the battle. I don't do super in-depth team village for these tournament games. Um, now that I did build an in-depth team, but I'm not going to like make slides for and things like that. Like I typically do a draft league. So yeah, we're just going to go over the team really quickly and then we'll jump right into the battle. So first off, you can see team top right corner. You can see our team and then Ant's team that consists of Torn Team, Mew, Crocodile, Keldeo, G Weezing, Steelix, Audino, and Ice Q. Now at the top end, there's some very, very annoying Pokemon. Um, my flying resists are very flimsy, so Torn T can be incredibly annoying for us to switch into. Mew, as you guys saw with Marcus, um, can be really scary depending on the set. I really expect some like calm minding, cosmic powering kind of set <coughs> with either like body press or dazzling gleam to kind of bully through my team as well as a stored power. So I think it'd be really annoying. We have to keep um, certain checks and things around in order to make sure that thing doesn't snowball. If it's really, or DD could honestly be really scary. I'm really scared of a DD variant. Um, Crook, I don't switch into very well as well, so we're going to have to be very careful of that. My ground resistance on this team is Heracross, so any offensive ground is going to be scary. Keldeo can be a bit annoying in the momentum that it grabs, but I'm not too worried about it. And these bottom four, I'm not really worried about it at all. Um, Steelix is a little bit annoying to switch into, but I think it's very well exploited on my team. And the other three just are a little bit passive. Audino can probably come. Um, Weezing can come as a Heracross check, but even then, I feel like it's, again, very easily exploited by the team that I built. So... First up, you can see on our screen we have our Slow King Galar with an Assault Vest. Regen has its ability, obviously. Sludge Bomb, Future Sight, Ice Beam, Flamethrower. Has very solid coverage overall. It's going to be a great pivot into Special Attack Mew, as well as Torn and Keldeo and things like that. G-Weezing, it just absolutely bullies. And we're just going to throw out Future Sights. Now, there is the annoyance of Crocodile. And again, giving Crocodile free switches isn't great. But I do have Sludge Bomb to not only poison it, but Ice Beam to do a lot of damage. Flamethrower is going to be to hit the Steelix. We have enough speed for, like, you know, creeping Steelixes and things like that, too. So... We should be allowed to be most of them, and once we get Spadef Steelix into range of Flamethrower, we'll just pop it, which is great. Next up, we have Tornadus Therian JPEG with a um, Stallbreaker, you know, tear, uh, a, not really Stallbreaker, just a typical utility torn with Hurricane, Knockoff, U-Turn, and Taunt. Basically, max speed, max HP, rest, leftover, and special attack. It's not that bad offensively, even though outside of just not being very offensive. Um, I feel like I need a Taunt for things like Mew, Weezing Galar, Rock Steelix, Audino, Ice Q trying to belly drum or something weird like that. Like, I felt like taunt was a really important thing. You trying to grab great momentum and knock off just to spread knocks and get rid of items, getting rid of wheezing items, getting rid of Steelix items in particular is incredibly, incredibly clutch. If that thing loses its leftovers, it's basically null and void, in my opinion. We'll kind of get to why in a little bit. So, Torrent's just going to play support this week and it's going to U turn around and knock off and taunt. It maybe throws off one or two hurricanes. Who knows? It's a good soft check to Kelly, too. Let's have a choice scarf hair across here with just stabs. Earthquake, Stone Edge, um, Adamant, pretty offensive. We're not Guts this week as much as it would rip through his team because I think he's going to be neutralizing Gas Weezing. And if we can catch that thing with an Earthquake, we will be in a pretty solid position. Now, I really want to knock off on this thing as well in order to knock off the Weezing's Black Sludge as well as the Torn's Boots and things like that. But I really felt like I needed Stone Edge as an Oko option on Torn because I really feel like I struggle with that mod, especially as the game progresses and gets a little bit more scary. So we have Stone Edge on it now. Um, and it becomes kind of a prediction game whenever Heracross is in, but I think it always puts Ant in a really tough position regardless of what he wants to go into. So I'm pretty happy with this one here. Next up, we have a pretty offensive Choppleberry Hydreigon with Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, and Nasty Fun Roost. The first time we're not bringing Scarf, actually. Um, it does really, really solid in this game. Again, his check is something like Weezing, which I feel is very, very pressured by my Heracross, and is probably going to be more fizzed after to take EQs a little bit better. Um, so... Honestly, Dark Pulse is going to chip that thing down, especially in conjunction with the spikes that we have on our team, as well as potentially rocks, as well as G King taking advantage of it. Like, I'm not really worried about not having coverage for it. We're Choppleberry for this because I'm super, super scared of Crocodile. I don't switch into Crocodile, as I said. This is uh, my only, like, 
resist outside of Heracross that resist dual stabs, but I don't want to just get rocked by a close combat or something like that. So that's great. It also gives us setup opportunities against Steelix, and it's also going to let us just like nuke a uh, Keldeo more at plus two if it wants to come in and try and revenge us somewhere healthy enough and say we're weak to Keldeo at that point and our G King's down or something like that. So. I think that's a pretty clutch aspect of uh, Hydreigon here, and uh, yeah, this is really well overall. Next up, we have the uh, obligatory Owen brings Rain Toad at least once when he uh, has a Seismitoad. Um, here it is, we're Surf, Earth Power, Rain Dance, Stealth Rock. Now, very interesting to have Stealth Rock on a set like this, but I really felt like I didn't need other coverage, and is super water weak, because water is just as Keldeo, um, and that gets rocked by an Earth Power. Like, it takes a ridiculous amount, so I'm pretty happy with this set right here. We can set up a Rain Dance on a lot of things. If he's more Fist of Audino, he gets 2 at KO by Rain Boost and Surf with a Life Orb. Um, we can set up a Rain Dance on things like Steelix Crook, very easy. We can set it up on on taunt torn we can set it up on wheezing switching out so i feel like there's actually a lot of opportunity for this guy to come in and go crazy um if he thinks he can go to like ice q on me if he's like taking rock i'll like just raw die to a life or a boosted surf um in the rain so i think it is really well especially in conjunction with the rest of our offense and spikes cleft key here it is he has to be defog torn basically um or i guess defog wheezing but it doesn't beat my spike center very easy um and i feel like torn can kind of freely throw off that defog a little bit easier um but we do kind of just deter all of his defogging options in general we have toxic to toxic down the torn and kind of just spam spikes if it ends up coming down to that um it's also great for mew it's kind of my main deterrent for mew trying to set up cosmic powers and um you know call mines whatever it might be for like a sweeping set that in conjunction with like taunt torn should put us in an okay position and i feel pretty comfortable going into my spadef clef key on that mew and going from there even if it's like a physical dd set if it's like dd flare blitz or something like that to hit me i can just like toxic it and then it takes a bunch of chip as it goes down things like that and again i can kind of pivot around and try and stall it out at the very least so i think uh Klefki can do a lot of work here um and checking the mew checking the torn as well as getting up spikes and checking the gwees so that's kind of going to be the plan we're going to get up spikes break with um poseidon pivot around with these two regen bots and hopefully win with a combination of these two right here so yeah that being said let's jump into the battle Hey guys, OJ Albani here, bringing you guys our NCP SummerSlam Top 16 battle against ITZ Wativa and his Sacramento New York Queens. Um, and it's a good buddy of mine. Definitely go check him out. I don't know if he's uploading these, but if he is, go check him out. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. I am not a big fan of our matchup. Um, we have some fun stuff like Rain Dance Toad <laughs> in this game. That's kind of the only fun stuff, but it looks like it does pretty well. I won't lie, it does really well. Um, so I'm hoping that I can punch a hole through his team and open up for like a Scarf Heracross to win a little bit later. Um, but it's going to be really hard. I have to eliminate a lot of pieces in order for a Heracross to win the game. Uh, so he has a Tornadus, an Odizzy, a Mew, a Steelix, a Weezing, and a Crocodile. Now, as for leads, what I want to leave, what I think his most likely lead is, I think it's something like Torn, which low-key makes me want to lead off. Do I think he leads Torn into like something like Klefki? I don't think he does. I really think he thinks like leads like Steelix or Crook, and that makes me really want to lead Seismitoad because I feel like it can punch an early hole really hard in his team, um, especially if he's not like a Spadef odd. Now, if he's Spadef odd. But like, even then, this is a lot. <laughs> You're also Stealth Rock on our offensive modest life orbs for Swim Toad. So, um, in the rain, it looks like we do two at KO him potentially if he is not leftovers. But that's kind of tough. It's probably leftovers. So we'll see. It's about a 27% chance otherwise. And after rocks, we two at KO him. So I'm going to Stealth Rock here. Yeah, I'm gonna get him up. I might as well. Um, his removal is just torn. So I'll take that. He can Toxic me or knock me off. That's whatever. I can still break without a Life Orb actually. Yeah. Uh oh, Stinker. So he's gonna get me there. He's gonna knock off my Life Orb and go, what the fuck just happened? Um, I think from here, I am gonna go into my hair cross. I don't think he's gonna double knock. I think if anything, he might toxic and then go, uh-oh, shit. Um, so we're gonna get hard out. Encore. 
No, sir. Um, and then from here... What do I want to click? I'm going to click close combat as he probably protects. He sees that we're not flame orb, so I would assume he protects if he has it. Nope, he's going to hard out into wheezing. Are you neutralizing gas? Yep, you are new gas. There go the Rockies. Nothing. There's new gas. Are we helmet? No, we're not. No leftovers either. Interesting. Okay. So what do I want to do here? I actually think I want to go Seismitoad. Things are a little bit of offensive pressure. Um, yeah, I think that's my play. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, it covers a strange steam. It covers a sludge bomb. It wants to like T spike for some reason. That's fine too. Um, and it covers like a weird double into like a Steelix crocodile type mon, you know? Uh, so yeah. So, it's got a strange steam. That's fine. No confusion. Cool. I'll take that. I'm gonna rain dance. And I'm gonna surf into the odd no. See how much damage I do. Get a little bit of gauge on his uh on his spread. So he's a strange team. He's not leftovers too, so I'm very curious as to what item he is. So we're gonna go hard out into our toad. Now, we would to it KO this if we had our life orb if it's for death. But we don't. Is leftovers on Dino? With the regenerator button. I'm gonna surf. Uh, we have knock, encore, probably wish toxic, maybe? So we'll see what we can do. We're gonna surf. Bonk. Um, and there's no water resist on this team, so like this is his only check that is not a two hit fizzle. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pivot out. He has Wish. Um, I want to pivot out into Heracross on a Protect slash Toxic. Hmm. Maybe. I could also go into Clefki and get up Spikes. But he's just going to Encore me, which is kind of tough. Yeah, that's fine, though, because I can make an aggressive play after the Encore. I'm fine with that. I'm going to get some spikes. So he's spin F odd, by the way. He's going to withdraw into what? Torn. Okay. Fine. That got two KO'd. I mean, but he could just U-turn out, I guess. He's boots. This is fine. I'm gonna spike. He's gonna withdraw. He doesn't U turn. Probably fearing T wave. So, we got up a spike. It's leftovers licks. I am gonna go hard. Um, into my, what do you call it, Seismitoad, though. With spikes up, I should 2-hit KO something. I think he's going to get up his rocks here. If he doesn't, oh well. He's going to Earthquake. Do I live? Probably not. Oh, let's go, Toad! I'm going to Rain Dance on some fuck shit. I think he's going to pivot out. No way you want to take this hit. Yeah. And we're just going to stay until we die. Oh, he goes hard torn. I'm fine with that. In the rain, without our life orb, this will give us a little bit of information. And we don't even kill him if he's offensive. However, I will take this damage. It'll make him regen plus switch for a little bit. I don't know. I'm in a tough spot. Hmm. 
Hmm. Switch out. Switch out for some reason. Do it. Do it. Um, serve crit kills. Oh, I'll take a crit. That would be demon. Give me the crit. Ready? Ba pow. He's about max HP. All good things to know. All good things. All good things. So down that goes. What do we want to go out into? Hmm. Hmm. Well, they're not Hades. We could go into our own Torn. How does our Torn match up against standard Torn? Oh, we... We get a fucking chunky hit off. Yeah, we're gonna go our own Torn. Um, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna knock... Here. Expecting a Steelix to come out. I don't think you give this to me. Plus, I get rid of your boots if you stay in. Yeah. So, we're gonna knock off the Steelix's item. Or the Audino's item. Okay. I'm gonna taunt... He can knock off my boots, but that's that's whatever. Yeah. I'll hurricane here. I can't miss. I know I don't kill. But I do threaten to it KO. Knock off. It's fine. Now I'm gonna knock off Steelix coming in. I don't think you risk this. We're gonna knock off the Steelix on its way in. That or the Crook or whatever wants to come in, honestly. I assume it's Steelix, though. And, and even if this stays in, this is a safe play. What is he gonna do? Knock me off again, you know? So, like, whatever. I'm recording right now. I'll be out in a minute. Yeah, he's gonna withdraw. He's gonna go Steelix. Spiky, Rocky... Knocky. I'll taunt it. I don't want rocks. This is definitely the rocker. Um, yeah, I'll just taunt. No rocks. You don't kill me with anything. I'm torn. Um, see ya. Let's do it. Let's do it. So he's Thunder Wave last slot. Odd. So I have to be very careful with my hair across coming in on that thunder wave. Like, that would be super unfortunate to see. He's taking a lot of time to think about this play. Um, I don't really need to overplay and you turn out on him clicking an attack because yeah, I don't die. Um, from here, I'm just gonna U-turn. Hydra, Steelix, Hydra, Heavy Slam. It's gonna do nothing to Hydra. So it's a very free pivot. Unless he's super powerful, even then I'm Chopple. So, like, I can just go Hydra here. I'm decently bulky too. I'm not worried. I kind of wish I had coverage for the Weezing, but it's whatever. This says it's doing 22 max. Yeah. Nothing. I think I'm just gonna Dark Pulse this turn. Um, cause I would love to chip down the Weezing. I would love to chip down the Weezing. He's gonna get on out of there. He's gonna go hard crook. That's a demon play. Um, 
but I'm Choppleberry. And Draco should kill this. So I'm gonna Draco. So even if he scars CC, I live this hit. I could reach up later. I am not too concerned. He is just gonna stay in and probably die. Oh my goodness, he's like AV as shit. Knock off. Oh, that's fine. So if this is the rocker, he's in a tough spot. Because now it's dead. You save it as a sack, I guess, but. It's kind of dark pulse. I was pretty weak to Crocodile in general. This is like one of my pivots into Scarf Crook. Um, so I went Chopple. I, I felt like Crook was just a demon versus me. He must have been Assault Vest there to take that hit. Um, so I guess... Not his rocker. <laughs> Ard Klefki. Is where we'll go. He can defog if he wants, but I'm just gonna get the spike back up. I'm just gonna get the spike back up. You don't prevent my spike. So no more rocks, which is a little bit unfortunate, but spikes are better. Anyways, because I can't knock this torn. Um, I do have any. I don't think. Do I have knock on anything? No. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a spike. Steelix comes back out, but it's not recovering any leftovers anymore because we were able to get a knockoff, actually. What, what had knock? Something had knock on my team, and I don't remember what it was. It's Torn. Torn has knock. Um, I'm just gonna go hard Hydra. I can roost on this thing. Get back in healthy. If he wants to get up his rocks, then my spikes are gonna keep going up, too. So, like, rocks aren't that big of a deal for me. It's a little bit annoying for Torn. Get of spikies. So I'm gonna boost. He can do it is go into his keys, which is a little bit annoying, but again, not the end of the world. So he's defog torn, which is also good enough. Imagine bringing defog. <laughs> <laughs> This is Stealth Rock Heavy Slam. This thing is on Strange Steam, and that's it. So we get healthy again. So we can exploit and just like nasty plot into Draco next time we come in, which is nice. And I just go Klefki, unless he's like Nasty Plot, Heat Wave, Hurricane, Defog. Like, I, I really doubt it. I really doubt it. I think you're gonna knock here. Hurricane, miss! Oh. I want another spiky. Oh, I want another spiky. I'm gonna get them all up. <laughs> As you have a very free Steelix. Which is a well. Maybe I should toxic last time. We toxic and we hit. Let's go. I kinda wish I was Thunder Wave now too, but again, oh well. I want a toxic for the emu. So now I beat this one if he wants still. <laughs> like he's gonna have to switch. The rocks are gone. Again. We traded our leftovers basically for a spike and a poison, and his rocks being gone. And he can get them up again, but like, whatever. So I'm gonna spike. Or like a layer. So he's knockoff, U-turn, hurricane. Um, 
一发。With heavy do the booties. Here we comes. Crocodile being gone and Steelix being chipped is something really good for like, my G or my uh, G King too. Ow. It is a body press. That's unfortunate. I don't need this though. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. Yeah, I think so. We can also Draco trying to catch the Torn, and also Roost or Double. Expecting the Torn. Hmm. Actually, I'm in a precarious situation right now. I'm just gonna Dark Pulse. I don't think I'm in the position to make a play. I'm gonna stay in. Cool. I'll trade this. Flinch! Yeah, I'll trade that. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go into my Heracross. Earthquake. Casey chokes and goes into his wheezing. If he goes into his torn, whatever. He might sack this. He might not. Let's see. I'm in kind of a tough spot, but like. I think if I play aggressively enough, I can win the game with my hair across. You know? Go into wheezing. Go into wheezing. Go into wheezing. That was a good plan. <laughs> but like, this is fine. I'm not worried. I just go hard Klefki. That was a good play, Antonio. Yeah, we just pivot out here. Go into the keys. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Hurricane. Who hits? No confusion. Of course. That's very annoying, actually. That's, like, incredibly annoying because I'm gonna flash cannon here, really hoping I break through and hit the Steelix, but if I don't, I'm kind of boned. Flash cannon twice, right? Yeah. Why are you defogging? I guess to, like, pivot into Steelix now? yourself. Fucking knew it. Yeah, baby. Um, I'm gonna flash cannon again. I want to take care of the Steelix on the switch, and if I break through, I'm in a good position. It's gonna U-turn. Come on, just break through, dude. There's no more confusion. He's at like 2%. I 2 it KO him from here. Just don't bone me here. I don't want rocks up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna spikes. Break through confusion. So we're not gonna allow a wish. Run a toxic. I 
It's not happening, dude. No fucking shot. I would have loved a toxic on this thing, by the way, but whatever. I can't let him wish up the Steelix. It's just not allowed to happen. No Steelix, no Steelix, no Steelix. No Steelix, this makes sense too. My fucking god. Thank god he didn't go Steelix, dude. I would have been boned. I don't necessarily need my AV. So I'm gonna pivot out. Let's go ahead and save this to Toxic the Mew later. Um, he just didn't bring shit to break this, especially when he sacked his crook. So, from here, just my Ice Beam. A U turn into what? Steelix? Sack it, probably? I don't know, bro. We'll see. No odd, okay. Freeze. Give it to me. What is with me and calling freezes lately? What is with me and calling freezes? That's insane. That's insane. That's like, okay, context. I called a couple freezes in my game against Matt, which like this might be going up way later than that game goes up. But I called two freezes in that. I called a freeze in someone else's game earlier today. And then I just called that one too. Okay. I mean, I could just lose to this. It looks like it's set up the way it came in. Toxic. I'm gonna go hard clef key. Now if it's like an earthquake variant, it's kinda tough. But I need a toxic this. If it's like a DD variant, I might actually lose to it. Oh my. Toxic. He's not talk he's not call mine rest, right? No shot. He's gonna switch, so we know he's calling my Mew. Oh the future shot hits odd, which is super clutch. One spike. Future sight. That's fine. You don't do anything to me. 
Like, I don't need my AV anymore. So, whatever. Um. Now, I take, like, no damage from knockoff, too, which is great. Oh, Sludge Bomb. You're not gonna stay in. Yeah. There he goes. Tornadus. What are you gonna you do? Turn, then switch. Yeah, you gotta switch, bro. You can uh, force some progress here. Maybe I should have. He got sludge bombed again. Well. Oh well. There it is. We ice beam. Dino's low. Where's Future Sight again? Oh. Bludge Bomb. Oh, he thought out. Put away. If. Like, that's whatever. I don't- I don't really care. Bonk! I got a little greedy. It's all good. So Adino goes down. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thorn comes out. A sludge bomb. If Mew comes in, it takes a fuck ton. Click the button. Pew 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 pew. comes in. Should die to the future site. Ooh, Loking with another kill. Now, as aggressive as it sounds, I think I'm gonna go hard hair across on the Mew. I think he's gonna ground move, which will kill my clef key and put me in a bad spot. I guess I could also go Boreas. Yeah, that's probably safer, actually. I'm gonna call Mind. See, that's interesting. I did not think you would. you turning like some stored power shit interesting very interesting Play like weakness policy I'm gonna double out Expecting the torn. I'm gonna go Hades. I think he's gonna go torn. Yeah. Let's go. Then I just future sight. In the sludge bomb. Future sight. He 
Okay, I go torn. Yeah, so he's like some mono future or sword power shit. Again, I'm gonna go Hermes. I think I have to. Is he like mono gleam, sword power, calm mind roost? Are you fighting move? I just Toxic here. His future sight hits next turn. So he can't afford to, uh, yeah, we're good. No para. No miss. Let's go. Not rest. Because he's been doubling out. Plus, as long as he's not agility, I have Scarf Hair in the back. So, provided we don't get, like, Giga Unlucky, we're fine. Future Sight was fine. Um, I'm just gonna Dazzle- Oh, uh, Flash Cannon, because it has a chance to drop his, uh, Spread Death or whatever. And that can weaken Sword Powers. Let's go, Klefki. Big fucking live. One more spike. As we go down. He's not resting. If he roosts here, whatever. Like, he's in range of Heracross regardless. Two spike. So I actually think I can go Heracross and just EQ. I also think from this point my non-assault Vest G King can win. And I still have Torn. Yeah, I actually forgot. I probably could have gone Torn and U-turned, but I don't, I don't know exactly where he's at and I'd rather not throw. Ah, I probably could have four. It's all good. I'm gonna click Earthquake. Because it doesn't miss Earthquake. You go Torn. Demon Ant. Keeps the sack, but whatever. No switch. Do I want to go into my own Torn? Oh, I could just go, um, cheeking. Still doesn't two it KO me. He's like off. He's like defensive torn. Or he's like max HP torn. So. Fog. It's fine. That's fine. Oh, the evasiveness disappears too. Damn it. I'm gonna click future sight. Bitch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ice beam. He's just not crit me again. I gotta dodge another one. He's not gonna be able to switch into anything. If he goes Mew, I go hard torn. Or hard, um. Yeah, hard torn. Like if he goes wheezing, sacks it off, hard Mew, I go torn. If it roosts, it taunt it. It um, I taunt it and hurricane it down. The call mine so well. Let's go using here. Yeah, he's gonna sack this and then get into try and get into Mew, I guess. Um, that's fine. So, I mean. I want to go Aries. No, because I can clean with Stone Edge at this point. 
I think I'm gonna go Torn. Torn doesn't die to anything from this. Regen plus switch, regen plus switch, regen plus switch, regen plus switch. What the fuck, Ant? Oh my god, your ass. I take back everything nice I said about this dude. Everything nice I said about this dude, I take it back. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. He goes torn. Whatever, I'm gonna hope he misses. Doesn't kill. Doesn't kill. Doesn't kill. Doesn't kill. Fuck. This game is dead. It's gonna come down to me. Oh my god, I switched out. I switched out on the wheezing, so I didn't get my regen. I didn't even think of that. Oh, I'm in a bad spot, brother. I need to get more Toxic Chip. I gotta hit two Stone Edges. Ain't no other play. Ain't no play. Ain't no fucking play. No item. Let's go, we lived. Okay, we kill Torn from there after this next turn of poison, by the way. And we have Moxie. So we will be able to Moxie pass as long as we hit moves. There it goes, if you worth a damn. You already missed one Stone Edge, brother. You already missed one. You already missed one. Don't miss anymore. You are not allowed to. Stone Edge. One. Let's go. I think that's game. Because I don't think he can Oko me. He's stored power. Let's go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ant, I love you, brother, but I swear to God, if you bring a Zap Cannon and G-Weezing against me again. Power oh, Stone Edge. He doesn't have a way to Oko me. Or Moxie. He can't roost past us. He's poisoned. Like, he stored power, so. And we hit, so. Woo! GG. I, I, I did get lucky with the freeze, so I can't get too mad about, like, the other stuff that happened because like I, I got a freeze so that was pretty clutch it allowed me to get some pretty good offensive momentum into like g king and stuff like with my g king and stuff like that so um i can't deny i got pretty lucky this game but i still think we played really well so I, i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna hang my head about this game um i want to throw fisticuffs with ant for being fucking zab cannon g weezing against me and hitting against the tog um but other than that Great game to my buddy. I apologize for the freeze. He's a great player. He played that great that game. It was it was a nail biter. So um, I'm glad we're able to move on to top eight. Uh, unfortunately, we had to take down our PST gang friend, but that's how it is in show business. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like as well as sub to the channel. We are so close to a thousand subs. Maybe by the time we upload this, we'll be at a thousand subs because I haven't even uploaded my first game at the time of recording this. So who knows? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.